Hey everybody! Oh shit! Where is everybody? Uh, there's everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Power <laughs> Comics. Uh, how's it going? Um, oh, we lost Zach somehow. Oh, um, weird. Uh oh, we got. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna get him back here. One second. Um, Freaking hack, bro. Sorry, power power malfunctions. But here he is. There's Zach, everybody. How's it going, Zach? Ben, Gabe. Really good. I'm good, doing really good. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy start to the power stream. Um, how's everybody doing? Good to see everybody. Everybody in the chat. Yeah, real good. How's everybody's week? How's everybody's life? Doing good? Good. Awesome. We're good. Mm. Very good. Awesome, awesome. The future is bright. It is. Um, Gabe, center up your, your, your frame there a little I'm bit. Trying to, I'm trying to figure out here. There's a lag here. Hang on. You got to come this way. Yeah. <laughs> hold on hold on so uh guys it's been a minute since we've done a live show we we concluded our um our dreamweaver obligations which was which was nice um what a freaking series that was um and now we're about to to kind of turn the page into another crazy ass uh fucking comic here that we love um earthman um oh, the best one of the best um Very good. just absolutely one of the most singular comics i think i've ever read um i think that's fair to say wouldn't you guys say definitely mm. yeah dude i did um some research on uh, bob nunn mm -hmm. and uh turns out he was the last person in america to get a lobotomy <laughs> um, is that true uh, no just just according to this comic that i read <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Um, Just kidding, Bob. We love you wherever you are. <laughs> how is the uh, how's the stream looking to everybody out there? Let us know. We're we're trying something new here, but let us know. Um, but yeah, uh, Bob Nunn is a mystery. He's one of the power mystery people uh, for sure. Uh, one of the power mm -hmm. mystery creators. He is um, he's responsible for a comic called Torch, which I'm going to flip over to the uh, to the overhead here and 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 show y'all. Um, we Ben and I. This was one of our first ones we ever did for the for the book club, right? Yeah, yeah. The um, torch is this. Just I don't know. We we sort of have a theory that torch is this um, commissioned by church pastor project that uh, Bob Nunn took on, and and Bob is I think from Missouri, but it's just so hard to believe that this is coming out of the 1990s. You know, that's just yeah. so crazy to me that his style. I mean, he must be a he must either be like 14, like we said, or either like, you know, 56 <laughs> when he was doing yeah. this, uh, because the uh, style is just so out there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think he's older. I, I mean, it, it's so weird that Torch and Earthman feel like such like t early 20s comics, you know? <laughs> it's so true. Uh, yeah. It's so true. And we have to just read the best panel in the whole thing, if you guys, if you, if I may, just for those who don't know. Um, this is my favorite line of dialogue, maybe in any power comic, where this gentleman here, I can't remember his name now, but he says, Some men think modesty is just a feminine practice, but if male nudity shown in public doesn't offend you, you're not a man. No man on <laughs> earth knows how ugly male nudity is in the eyes of a woman <laughs> and what it does Ooh, to her baby. and what it does to her mind, her stomach what? and the male image. What oh. happened to Bob? Wow. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But um, yeah. What do you think about this, Zach? How do you, how do you feel about torch? Yeah. Cause I've never seen torch before. Um, I have earth. Oh man, my but, God. Uh, what I'm noticing mainly about this more so than earth man is the way it's laid out. And not just because it is so awkwardly religious. Yeah. But um, mm -hmm. it looks like the Jack T. Chick comics. Like, there's two main artists for the Jack T. Chick comics. So, you know, the little, like, bus stop comics that make you go to mm. hell. Yeah. You know yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. So there's two artists. And one guy is, like, pretty, he's a pretty good renderer. And the other guy draws a lot like this. Mm -hmm. And the way that the panels, like, the establishing, like, meanwhile. Yeah. And then, yeah <laughs> the way the characters, like, face each other. And just the quality of the art is very close to the lesser of the Jack T. Chick cartoonists totally his name i don't know because i'm an atheist that's okay <laughs> and I, I love this i love this panel here too because it's just like i love just the sparseness and the and the 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 sterile emotion of this one moment here is yeah. pretty amazing and the um, shitty carpet of that movie. yeah i know like, he's crying in peewee's playhouse <laughs> <laughs> that's my job <laughs> and uh 
Yeah, it's just wild because the whole story of this is about uh, a guy who is being tempted by Satan and this th- this character Demona. And uh, if 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 Demona tempts the, this main character and he becomes the torch, the superhero takes over his body, and then he's able to. F- it's really nonsensical and pretty surreal and amazing, but. You know, Bob Nunn is definitely, uh, you know, if anything, you know, his his art and his work is very, very surreal and feels like it's escaped the Black Lodge, uh, uh, you know, at, in Twin Peaks or something. Um, mm-hmm. It's just amazing. And and Torch, if you haven't seen it, go back in our YouTube archives because one of the first uh, videos Ben and I ever did was uh, looking at this comic and it's just absolutely one, one of the best. One of the best. Yeah, if you're on, if you're on the Patreon, you can uh, can read the whole thing for yourself and have your mind melted. That is true. It is on the Patreon. Go grab it. Thanks for the plug. Patreon.com slash Power Comics. Um, but guys, Earthman, man, this was so awesome when I discovered this because I just had a really good feeling about it as soon as I saw this cover and was just like, give it to me. And I actually ordered like five or six or whatever at a time and, and uh, I kind of distributed them all to you guys. <laughs> but um, just... Before we get into it, thoughts, Earthman thoughts, guys. Anyone? It's, I mean, it's it's like well, you, you talk about this, but it's like somewhere between like child childhood innocence and like total disconnection from reality. You know, it's like that yeah. comes with age. So it's like it's there. Like, yeah. like we're all there. Everyone's there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, in between those things, it really feels like a like a pre code horror comic. But like, yes, you have to be like doing whippets while you read it. You know? <laughs> like it feels a little bit like just not all there in the head. Well, I think like as we go through it, to me, it's like so wild. This is coming out of the 90s. Like to the, this is part of the 90s is crazy. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. to me, it, it really it's it really like it's like I have to see physical evidence of that, you know, uh, or else I'm going to assume that. This wasn't, you know, manufactured in, you know, 1940s Bulgaria. That's what I've always said. It feels like it's like out, like it feels like it's just so night, like dreamlike and dream logic that it just seems like it's from another yeah. time. It doesn't seem like it's part of, you know, like what, like what came out in 1990? Goodfellas? Like it doesn't seem like this is coming out alongside Goodfellas. You know, like, no. yeah, he's he's like watching Full House while he's <laughs> drawing Earthman. <laughs> it just or doesn't. any of those like 90s image image comics or those mm-hmm. late you know those early 90s marvel comics with like i don't know eric larson and todd mcfarlane and all those guys exactly sort of like yeah selling millions of copies of comics every month it's just like manufacture it's made in a vacuum and that is what power oh, comics yeah. is all about this guy you know yeah. probably had didn't set, step foot outside much and this is all you know he probably grew up he's, i think he's older because bob nunn must have grown up on like his dad's comics or something or he must have grown yeah, up sure. on you know like these these serials these horror serials or sci-fi serials because look at the design yes. yeah, of yeah, these characters on the front here it's this is not so like, retro so yeah, retro it's definitely like a yeah. flash gordon type. maybe yeah, he's it, it is maybe. flash gordon's outfit it's like yeah. it's just straight up exactly yeah. Yeah. maybe bob nunn is like a mennonite and like Stole, oh. found like some comics in a yeah dusty crate. Right, that's the best. That's the best theory so far. Yeah, that's a good theory. Yeah, found them in a crate. I can do this. Or dad. One no. one time I was at a um a a dying uh, amusement park and I went on a roller coaster with a bunch of Mennonites and it was the best. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had like Nikes on, but then they were dressed like Amish people. I didn't know what a Mennonite was. I was very confused. And they had like the biggest time they've ever had on that roller coaster. It was oh my wow. god. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's that's so great. That's the and best. then you woke up from that nightmare. No, that was real. <laughs> I also went on a roller coaster with a bunch of deaf kids once, and they made the sounds of pure happiness that no other person could make. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a ama- beautiful. That's a, Man, what a beautiful. It's a really moment. great roller coaster story. Yeah, yeah I've got I got like I've got seventeen of them. <laughs> <laughs> you should um, do a comic about it. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> um, so guys, <laughs> this cover. Let's just talk about the cover before we get into it because the cover oh. is so fucking amazing. The colors, mm-hmm. perfect. This little so good. gun. This is how I would draw, how, how I did draw people shooting first <laughs> first person perspective doom style. Yeah, no no perspective for sure. This could have been Wolfenstein it's influenced. The, it's one of the most beautiful <laughs> beautiful comic covers I've ever seen. True. Yeah. Great great title. Great. Yeah. Co- color. And love that. That smear robe. Oh, the smear robe. Foldless 
robe he's got on. Yeah. Or she, he or she has on. Exactly. And I think it's also pretty wild too that it's just like Earthman as a title is pretty weird because um, there's not one Earth. There's not an Earthman. There's Earthmen. There's two of them and they're the heroes. But mm-hmm. I don't know. It's 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 a bizarre title to choose for this comic, but we'll see. That's just the old, that's just one of eight hundred thousand things that are bizarre about this. So, <laughs> one thing I want to just point out before we get into it, just to bring back Torch. I'm sorry, we've already covered Torch, but Bob Nunn is the master of throwing you into the story faster than you have, like whiplashed <laughs> into the fucking story. Mm-hmm. Like he's wh- a faster master. He's a fast. <laughs> he's a faster baiter. Um, let me just show you, <laughs> uh, really quickly how this this comic opens in Torch. We're, we're thrown into, this is the first panel, we're thrown into, Randy Ross, I want to speak to you about about the company you've been seen with lately. And then he's like, you mean the East Side Gang? <laughs> at least, you know, at least we have some fun. It's like, what? That is just so, breakneck speed. So what? much is established in that one panel. I know. With, the, with those two word balloons. I know. It's mm-hmm. crazy. It's crazy. It's like something to definitely, you know, to learn from that, but... Uh, Earthman is no different. It goes right into a breakneck speed. So let's take a look um, at Earthman. So here we go. Um, similar kind of weird, bizarre. You know, no. Oh, so good. Yeah, so really, good. really good, but no, no um, intro letter. Oh, this one seems to be missing a staple. Let's use the one that. Oh no! Oh, get it out of here. That does. Oh whoa! The 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 patina on this one is much cl- uh, cleaner. <laughs> Cleaner yeah, finish. Fresh. Yeah, nice and fresh earth, man. Um, fresh-ish. Fresh-ish. And you've been using that word patina every 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 time I talk to you. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm a patina. word. I'm a super patina. I love that word, too. Yeah. Patinager. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, watch for Space Wars in the Earthman Adventures. A very serial-esque kind of mm-hmm. vibe. Very wholesome. Wholesome 50s, Christian safe kind of opening here. Um, and then, uh, guys, first panel, breakneck speed. These fishermen found the body on Dracil- Dracilis? Dracilis? River? Dracilis? 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 Uh, uh, river. And then, you know, so we're like, okay, where are we? Who? What? Why? And then the next panel, the best panel of all time, all the blood has been drained, period. Two tiny holes are in the throat. <laughs> the best panel. I mean, guys, put it on a t shirt. I know. Mail it to Evan. That yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. Whoever's watching, you know, Tony and Tony are out there. Jordan, if you're out there, this is the next shirt, please. <clears throat> I actually <laughs> forgot that I got more Dreamweaver shirts. Uh, <laughs> Jordan, Jordan made Dream. Oh, it's right here. Oh my God, not Jordy. Wait, hold did on. Did he make pause? Did he make four of them? He made a he made a quite the few. Dreamweaver. No. Oh, oh hell yes! Wow. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So Amazing. guys. Earthman shirts, please send them in. Um, <laughs> so all the blood has been drained. Two tiny holes are in the throat. And that's not the first time we're going to hear about two tiny holes. Um, oh. So, I mean, just already we're in a dream um, for sure. I've had dreams like this. Uh, and then one of the two Earthmen, one of the two Earthmen, I guess that's I guess they're the Earthmen. Uh, this river leads. You know, to, go ahead. not to interrupt, but did we make a huge mistake by not including tiny chest uh jetpacks in our vehicle uh <laughs> yeah bit. yes wait wait those are jetpacks yeah it says, <laughs> yeah, it says they? they are levitators huh? my friends it says levitators oh, enable oh, them to float. they even had to explain it because he's he, even to him he knew it was crazy levitators yeah. enable them to float in air is what it says mm, so <laughs> so yeah to float in air uh so amazing just so, like in water yeah <laughs> yeah so they're they're taken off to investigate about this this fisherman that's been found in Dracilis River. We don't know if we're on Earth or off Earth. Doesn't really not really clear. And then we get this beautiful uh, drawing here of, um, and then you know we don't know who's even narrating this. I've heard some weird stories about that village, and then immediately we're thrown into these two Earthmen, you know, weeding through some weeding through this terrain. It's too dark, so let's camp here until morning. So now we're like, what? And already it's like, what's that sound? And then now they see a vampire. So everything's been set up mm-hmm. so quickly and disorientingly that the pace is insane. Yeah. The art, the art is so good. It really is. Yeah, so I, cool, I love man. I love Amazing. that panel of the of the barn thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's great. 
It's 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 just great. It's it's awesome. It's and, so amazing. And I don't know if we're, we've been underselling how insane this is, but it really truly is insane. Yeah, part of me just can't help but visualize him like fingering one of the <laughs> neck holes. You know, like if this was a cartoon, he'd be like noodling it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. It's 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 wild. But um, let's get so into the bikini tops. The, the the bikini top levitators. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are the, consistent throughout the story. The the, uh, the yeah. A cup levitators. The chest. But how do you tell the Earthmen apart? You don't. Well, we'll we'll, we'll see. Actually. <laughs> If, if you look at our very first video on YouTube was the, the uh, John Tarr table read where we all played one of the characters and, and acted out the comic. We actually were like, let's do Earthman. And we tried to do it. And I realized that while we were reading it, nobody, we you know, like we couldn't figure out who was playing because the Earthmen are the same. <laughs> yeah. So you can't just, it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Right. Um, unless you really deconstruct it. And I, we just, we can't. Um, and then it's still impossible. Yeah. And then it's still impossible. Yeah. But there's more tiny, there's two tiny more tiny holes for us to see. Um, <laughs> is so, that not the same? It's not the same drawing? Like re? It is. It is? Yeah. Yeah. Which also, is... that is a an <laughs> awkward spot to bite someone's neck. <laughs> right their blood. Like under their chin, like your forehead is resting on their chin with your little two front nibblers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, totally. So again, two tiny holes, quote unquote, are used again, exactly. Two tiny holes in the throat, period. That's so weird. How are you supposed to deliver so that line? Here, Zach, perform that as, as, a, as a performance. Just, just that just, line? Just two, tiny, two, holes two the... tiny holes in the throat as a sentence. Two tiny holes in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh, all the blood drained out. Period. This is why I think this is not written by someone whose first language is English. Or two tiny holes in What's... the throat, all the blood drained out. Period. So crazy. What do you make of it? And then this wonderful fellow looks like <laughs> the victim of a vampire. Um, hey, someone had to say it. I know. And then we don't know who's talking, but have you ever heard of a place called Dressilis? And then uh, this gentleman continues, yes, there's a new patient in Bond's asylum who claims he was there and attacked by a vampire. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I love his face, too. Super, super mm -hmm. retro face. Um, super old school. Super old school, like Dick Tracy uh, vibes almost. Oh. Uh, right? That's, right? A good, that's a good call. That, that is, and that's framed yeah. like a Chester Gould. Totally. Like, yeah. Totally. It is. It just came to me. Um, no one ever believed him. I want to talk to him. Don't know what's going on there. This is great. He always draws anguish really well. Have you ever noticed that, Ben? Seriously. Like Bob Nunn knows anguish. He knows darkness. But he can't draw love or, or happiness. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So clearly his like childhood crush threw up while he was like in his bathing suit <laughs> in PE, PE class and it scarred him. Totally. He's got issues with masculinity and happiness for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Reed, there is someone here to see you. And then he explains, finally, we know we have a name to this earth man. I am general moon. I heard that you had an encounter with a vampire, but here's the crazy thing, guys. This man is not these two men. Mm -hmm. That's the part that you're going to be like, ha, huh? you know, so yeah, no, he doesn't have a pith helmet. Yeah, I know, but got a, got a flat top still. Yeah. It's confusing. If you're not oh. really paying attention. He keep going okay i am oh general moon i heard that you made an encounter with a vampire do you <laughs> do you want to laugh like the others no i won't he's like <laughs> i won't laugh and then he explains it was about 30 miles south of dracilis when a very large bat came at me then it took on a human-like form that of a woman the next thing i knew it was biting at my throat so like that that's how you would do it gabe um bending it's such a good panel breaking Look his at neck. How good that panel is. i know it's amazing yeah that's really good suddenly the sun appeared the vampire seemed frightened ah! and it changed back into a bat and flew away its fangs left these two tiny holes in my throat no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> two tiny holes. it says it these fangs left the holes in my throat the same kind of marks on the dead man's throat so now we're establishing this is a whodunit guys this is a little caper a vampire yeah. caper um I love how it's a mystery, like, who put these two tiny holes in these people? Mm -hmm. um, so, the mystery of the two tiny holes yeah, exactly. <laughs> by Bob Nunn. <laughs> totally. So, amazing. Um, our weapons had no effect on her. Okay, so that's 
the callback mm. to the cover. Got it. Hell yeah. She she's backing away from the cross. I love just how sparse. And it's a she. It's a she. Yeah. She's gone. It'll be daylight. There's the village. I think this is actually cutting back to our guys now here. Yeah. He yeah. also does yeah. that. Yeah. He he does oh. that in he does that in Torch, where he he cuts to another story mm-hmm. and, and you're not sure where you are. But these are the guys from the beginning. Um, I believe that this is what inspired Memento. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Um, bars on the windows, Wolf Bane on the doors, and then who are you? This is a this is Major Star and Major Galax. So Major Star, Major Galax. That's the name of our two guys. Can't tell them apart though, unfortunately. Go away. And then this guy's my favorite. Oh my god, this chunky Loki man, oh, so good. the best. He goes, "Go home, Granny Witchet. Step inside. I'll talk to you." <laughs> <clears throat> you hear wrong here, by the way. H e r e. You hear about the body that has been found up the river? Yes. Fellows, we have a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> the best, dude. Fellows, Granny Witchet is cool. Totally love that Witchet panel. But come on, guys, fellows, we have a vampire. No one. No one cares. All right. All right. I like fellows who have a vampire. Okay, I love it, man. Wait, the panel below though is so it's like so Muppet that you can't even. No, this? the one next one, that that is yeah, the yeah Muppet panel. I know. Totally crazy, weird Muppet puppety. Um, yeah, love this establishing shot. Just I love how he puts the trees the, the, in there. It's just awesome. We met her yeah. last night. No idea who's talking. Who is this vampire? I wish we knew so we could kill it. It's that sort of detached. Delivery, I think, goes with every one of these drawings, does it not? Yeah, look yeah. for the Earthman for sure. Yeah, <clears throat> if you yeah. if you can kill it, our guns have no effect on it. Okay. Um, and if we find its coffin, we'll drive a stake in its heart. It's so just wow. Well, this drawing, guys, for a minute, this could be a fucking yeah. like album cover. Yummy, <laughs> you know? yummy. It's dope. Uh, ben, like, tell us about. When you first read this, how were you feeling at this point? Like, fuck yes? Yeah, I was like so excited about everything. I mean, this comic kind of delivers on everything I kind of want in a reading experience. Totally. <laughs> with comics, you know? With power comics. Like, I just, yeah, yeah exa- I mean, and that's for me like the apex of like comics reading mm-hmm. experiences. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely like at the top and I was thoroughly enjoying myself because it was just like really delivering the goods. Totally. This next uh, two pages here are fucking spectacular. Um, all right. I took this photo of her last night. Won't do any good. I don't. And Oz changes features when she turns into a vampire. I don't know what that is. O-Z-T. What? It's o- it says O-Z-T? It says O2T or OZT? Not sure which. But O2T. O2T changes features when she turns into a vampire. Okay, O2T. Um, O2T tiny holes. Um, let's call a meeting at the hall at noon to find out who she is. The one that won't show up will be the vampire. Okay, simple enough. Mm. Vampires can't come out in the day. Ah, yes. It won't work. People here have a belief that evil spirits search for them during the day to mark them victims for the vampire. So they hide during the day. Holy shit. One more time. It won't work. People here have a belief that evil spirits search for them during the day to mark them victims for the vampire. So they hide during the day. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, it's it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's just, it's just. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> it's definitely lobotomy core. I think the lobotomy shit yeah. is coming into effect here. Um, I think the earth, the, I, I, I think the earth man is starting to hit us all here a little bit. Um, better make it just as it turns dark. Okay. They believe the day spirits are gone and the vampire hasn't come out yet. Okay. So this is great. Great hard cut here. This is where shit really takes off for me in this ish. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone in the village is here. Awesome. Um, and then immediately, is, sorry, what? This which is like five people. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I resent this meeting. Okay, Vixina, calm down and find a seat. Her name is Vixina in this world. So this world's just like, this is a crazy, this is not our world. This is off world. Right? Yeah. Right. It's got to be off. Well, no, but that farmer, I don't know. It's either Iowa or another universe. <laughs> yeah. Planet Iowa. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, someone in this room is the vampire. Which one? I want every one of you to look at this cross. 
amazing amazing i love how we're taking oh, two panels so to good. stare at the fucking cross right as that like passage of time like oh you 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 know mm-hmm. it's fucking <laughs> great. yeah take it away i love it um and then um it's vixina she's the vampire and then it's like okay obviously that's her but get out of the way granny <laughs> i love this push the granny out of the way we're all doomed this is nuts love it right granny wicket yeah this is insane this could be a shirt too, by the way. Yeah, I was thinking that. That's this the Granny a... Witchet spinoff comic is also pretty good. Yes, totally. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Granny um, Witchet. Welcome, River. Welcome, late. Welcome, late. Uh, Iowa is the power state. It it truly is. Hey, have you guys found any new info on our on our uh, our uh, what's his name again? Um, Lankford. Any more Lankford in- info? Um, where did she go? Look at the size of that bat. It must be the vampire. So there's a giant bat in the sky now, guys. Does everyone mm-hmm. have a cross? <laughs> I love this. Does everyone have a cross? No, one person says. Um, the restrooms have mirrors. Those without... This is so weird. The restrooms have mirrors. Those without crosses take a gold marker. Okay. What? What? Duh. And then paint crosses on your forehead so the vampire can't get you on your way home whoa damn Jeff. it's that easy yeah a vampire in the streets i'm not going home i've never met a usp i don't know what a usp man before uh there's only 25 of us god it's just so particular oh. a vampire in the streets a lady in the sheets yeah hey. <laughs> uh-huh. um and then now we cut to i think these two now are having their own moment or this is outside the hall actually i'm sorry my name is Alex Star, so that's the first name of Major Star, and then I'm mm-hmm. Iris, and then she's like, "Alex, would you, would you paint the cross on my forehead?" That's just the best. That's just the his best. silhouette. His silhouette looks like a slimy, fat, like old, yeah, weirdo dude. Yeah, or it looks like dark. Hey, dark watch your language. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Slimy, <laughs> weirdo dude. Get um, out of here, dude. weirdo dude. Um. Okay, everyone got bolts on your doors and bars on your windows? Yes, we all have. Go straight to your homes. If you see the vampire, let it see your cross. Okay. And then, of course, Alex getting horny. Iris, can I take you home? I would like that, but Zan needs you. Guys, any guess on who the fuck Zan is? Um, That's the other Earthman. Maybe. Maybe. Zan Galax. His name is Zan Galax. Yeah, well, I mean, that's my cousin's name. <laughs> oh, my Zan God. Galax, Reed Moon. Yeah, Reed Moon? Am I, am I, did I miss that earlier? Or you guys... Is it General Moon? Is his name Reed or something? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, it's Reed Moon, I okay. think. Well, yeah. Alex Starr and Zan Galax. Okay. Um, there we go. But the vampire. Don't worry. I have a cross on my forehead. Oh, just amazing. I, I love this comic. Um, Alex and I will cover the air. Take this Watok. <laughs> <laughs> this drawing to the watok you guys got your watok yeah um <clears throat> i see a large bat following us iris so he's you know so then oh shit that's a giant bat by the way yeah um, yeah that is fucking oh terrifying. um yeah anyone ever here see the mexican movie ship of the monsters from uh 1961 no Mm-mm. very similar female vampire design including the giant bat Whoa. And it's also the, my favorite Mexican movie ever. Was it on TV or something? something? Was it on TV? Did he rip this from TV? No, it's no. Um, it's just, just like a, a rare VHS that I like that I hunted down. But it's um it's on YouTube with subtitles, like really high quality. It's a great movie, but there's an amazing twist huh. where it's a science fiction movie and suddenly a vampire shows up, and it's really good. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. That sounds cool. Yeah, Ship of Monsters. It's Ship also a musical. Monsters. Ship of Monsters. All right, I'm gonna check that. Yeah, out. Yeah, Nave de los Monstruos. I oh, can know that. I almost forgot about this next part. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta I gotta Oof, hold on. Okay. I gotta cover this one up for a second here. Um <laughs> Oh no, the Watok isn't working. <laughs> I don't see I don't see <laughs> Iris now. Uh, I thought I saw Vixina. Okay, I'm just so disoriented. Eek, it's Iris. And then of course we have Vixina around the corner here. Great drawing. Major Galax over here. And then Iris is is incapacitated. Two tiny holes in her neck spelled K N E C K. Wow. Yeah. Made by a vampire. Because she's an alien. So weird. Aliens have connects. <laughs> Very pale. 
must have got much of her blood. Oh, I love just how the detachedness of this dialogue is insane. Um, great drawing here of one of the two guys who I don't know which. She's dead. Okay, now we're about to cut to the craziest shit ever. Um, oh my god. <laughs> no, she's still alive. Needs a blood trail. They're writing. They're like the dialogue is all in like email format or something. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like post-it note. It's a like post-it note. It is. Yeah, it totally is. Um, needs a blood transfusion. Granny Witchet and the robot will take care of her. And we're all thinking a robot. This is insane. <laughs> it's trained to give blood oh. transfusions. <laughs> oh my god. Also, this is weird, but um, the same robot is in Ship of Monsters. I'm re I'm just realizing this right now. Really? Like, oh he God. might have been, oh, might have been wow. obsessed with Mexican science fiction and like just like channeling that into this. Wow. I mean, it also looks like a generic water heater. So <laughs> yeah, he probably had one of those too. This is what he was staring at in his basement. He was locked in for the first twenty five years. <laughs> exactly. of yeah, it's, it's like the usual suspect <laughs> just look around the room and like make up a and, he, <laughs> and he put like a roll of toilet paper on top and threw a smiley face on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> she's doing okay so let's get after the vampire no shit um can i wait a little longer Ooh, feelings for iris sorry alex but we have to leave now and then like leave her with this crazy robot that's gonna switch her fucking blood out inside of its <laughs> yeah. body yeah i i just love that like god the way he works is like shoving his like finger in her and then all the blood is just stored in his <laughs> weird tank chest cavity and <laughs> <laughs> dude of this a faithful adaptation movie adaptation of this one would be oh fucking that's brilliant fantastic mm -hmm. i know i that's I, a great idea i i think we should take the best five uh yeah the best five power comics faithful movie adaptations and just make our own heavy metal the movie out of power comics oh my god amazing would you guys want yeah, to see great that idea except yeah. except i think that we should have the opportunity to do some like live action as well like, like heavy metal but no, they're all live all action. Formats. I'm sorry. I didn't make yeah, that clear. Okay, good. They're all live action. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, um, good. And they're faithful adaptations with real actors. And just we have to, <laughs> we have to be true to the crew here on this. Um, Game, Game Era 138 says Theranos robot. <laughs> Theranos. <laughs> totally, mm -hmm. totally, totally. Amazing. Um, this was the inspiration for Theranos. Um, okay, here we go. Um, oh, this is where shit gets fucking even better. Um I know how you feel about Iris, but that vampire may claim another victim tonight. Good point. We must find it. And then this is great. This is fucking great. Please keep this phone open. Okay? God damn it. Keep this fucking phone open. And we're going to give you a whole panel just to point at it. Because this phone plays a big part of the story, guys. Pay attention very closely to this phone. I mean, he's showing you to pay attention. That <laughs> exactly. Big point. finger pointing? Come on. Yeah. This phone is fucking important, guys. But Granny Witchet, I, I never make calls. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> what calls would she be making? Um, I hope you receive them. The calls, he means. I will. Okay. Weird. Uh, look at the size of that bat. Must be the vampire. Again, it's a crazy transition. Now I don't see the bat. There's Vixina, though. Just crazy. What? Just like now the bat's gone, but then Vixina's there. Let's follow her. It must be her. Amazing drawing outside of this... You know, Super Mario Brothers Castle. Um, yeah. Very good. Yes. Yeah, super fucking great. Um, so you found me, but you can't kill me unless you find my coffin. Okay. Thanks for telling us that. Um, yeah. And then, hint, hint. Yeah, hint, hint. Kill my coffin. <laughs> yeah. uh, look in the mirror. Awesome. Vampires have no reflection. So she's even now solving the uh, whodunit for us. Great. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's like suicide, suicide by Earthmen. <laughs> <laughs> Assisted Earthmen suicide. Just kill me. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> um, I saw you press the button. Okay, guys, this is insane. The Earth, I saw you press the button. It's a trick mirror. So she's lying. Uh? I know who the real Wait. vampire is. What? Swerve. Can you believe it's that? Crazy. That is. Cr that's insane. We need to make this Insane. movie. Yeah, seriously. Um, mm -hmm. Vixina, why do you want people to think you are the vampire? Wow, some deep psychological shit. Bob Nunn, he always brings it. He brings it. Um, it's like Munchausen by Dracula. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's daylight. Let's search for that coffin. Saw now she's crying because she wants to be the vampire they want to kill. Okay. Uh, 
Meanwhile, it's like Charlie Tuna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <totally. laughs> uh, we searched all day. I don't think we'll ever find that coffin. Let's check on Iris. Wow. This is <laughs> so good. Love this comic. Okay. Here we go. Um, a note on the door. Thank you. Show for showing this, Bob. Iris died. Oh, shit. The blood transfusion didn't work. Oh, my God. Iris died. She, What's that? She died from a robot finger in her throat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Iris died. I'll kill that vampire with my bare hands. He, he won't dismantle the robot. He'll go after the fucking vampire. <laughs> Alex, control yeah. yourself. Um, you know the only way to kill that vampire is to drive a stake in its heart. Okay. And we're show oh, phone's coming back. It's dark again. Let's go. Granny Witchet is gone. Uh, uh, someone's on the porch. Uh oh. Wait. Da -da -da. Iris, she's alive. Whoa, crazy. Um, but the note what? said. But the note said you were dead. The robot pronounced me dead. They make mistakes too. God. He just. Uh. <laughs> he's thought of everything. He's thought of everything. <laughs> Granny Witchet must have written in, written the note. So now we're getting into like fucking Earthman wormholes here. Um, <laughs> I know, you know, like and more post its. I know, Granny <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Witchet. I printed out this email <clears throat> that she typed me. Um, okay, uh, why did she leave you? I don't know. Oh well, the main thing is you're alive. Yes, that's true. Um, Alex, it's already dark. Please be careful. And then smoochy smoochy, but no, Alex, get inside. Okay, this is this is this is great. Right? Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the artwork is just totally, completely, consistently awesome, too, from page to page, by the way. Um, so good. Aren't we going to follow it? No use. It faded into the dark. Okay. Uh, you told Vixina you knew who the real vampire is. Whose is it? Granny Witchet. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Witchet. Like, Granny wait, she was, Witchet. She's out during the somewhere. day. She was in the day earlier, wasn't she? I know. I, she I, might have had like cream cheese screen. smeared on her face. Or yeah, something. like but yeah. Well, there's a topical ointment that she put on her. You know, <laughs> like, whatever, like, witch, yeah. witch ointment. Come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Use your yeah. head, bro. Use your nun. Use detectives. your nun. Use your nun 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 gun. You know. Use my nun gun. I try. Uh, her coffin may be in her house. Okay, yeah, you gotta keep your own coffin in your own house, guys. Um, oh yeah, Zan, you're right. His name is Zan. Okay, conf confirmation. Zan, I have a score to settle with that vampire. Let me go alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> amazing. And then, be careful. Smash cut to two a.m. <laughs> That's the next. <laughs> two a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was later than that. Okay. Weird exposition. Uh, oh, shit. You'll be safer here than in the room you were in. And then, of course, Reveal. I mean, we saw that Iris. a mile away. She put the two tiny holes in her own throat. <laughs> 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 like, really? Is that what we're supposed to believe? Like, honestly? Yeah, she just took two toothpicks and just went. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> We've all done it. We've yeah. all done it. <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay. I love the transformation. Awesome. The coffin isn't here in her own home. What are you doing in my house? Wait a minute. This cross has no effect on you. For some reason, Zan sent me on a wild goose chase. Um, why did you leave Iris? Now they have a moment. Okay, guys, this is where shit gets fucking crazy in the insane in the membrane here. Um, this is like one of the most really mental the things. Most mental thing. This is the most mental thing ever. But hang on, before we get to the most mental thing of all time, um, I received a phone call to take care of a sick person, but she wasn't sick. Okay. Mm-hmm. False report. It's all starting to add up. He says as he flies away. Okay, you know something we don't. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, Major. It is sweet little Iris, the vampire. And then you must. <laughs> This is crazy. You must be surprised that, you know, I'm the vampire. You know, like. Yeah. What? So. Just so, awkwardly standing there together. So. This is me. I, you must be, <laughs> uh, you know, pretty surprised that I'm the, you know, vampire. Uh, no, I finally figured it out. How did you know? Okay. This is how. Right. Zan. Is that who we're talking about? Figured out this, guys? Mm-hmm. 
Here we go. This is the big fucking moment here. Uh, you had to okay. You had to have Alex paint the cross on your forehead because a vampire can't see themselves in a mirror. Got it. I'm with you. Everyone okay. was safe in their Check. homes. The ones on the street had crosses, so you could claim no victims. Okay, everyone was safe in their homes. The ones on the street had crosses, so that you could sense. claim. Okay, yeah, got it. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Two, that makes sense. Since vampires thrive on blood, you made sure you were found on the street so you would be taken to the doctor's office to get a transfusion. Mm. Okay. You also made sense. pinholes in your neck to look like vampire fang bites. You were right. Zach, you were right. Wow. Pinholes. Pinholes. Come on. That's... this. Is all, okay, so you want the blood transfusion. You want the pinholes. But the major cliffhanger, guys, the fucking Kaiser Soze of fucking Earthman. Um, oh, my God. Is this. In the doctor's office, the phone cord was on the west side. <laughs> After Granny so left, it was on the Good east night. side. It was on the <laughs> east side, which means she received a call since she never makes them. That is the... There's so much wrong with these two panels that, and there's I don't, I don't see anything wrong. <laughs> this whole ish culminates to a phone cord being on the west side instead of the east side, but to, yeah. that is fucking the west side. The west like he's side. He's holding a compass. West side phone Wait. cord. It's a west Which side, side story. Do you guys keep your receiver on. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about it. Do east. <laughs> It's a do east phone cord. It's do east. Do east. Um, dude, that is some fucking dude, Bob Nunn. I want what you're having, brother. That's why Zan is the, the leader of the whatever the fuck he is. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, West Side phone OCT. cords. Y'all want that West OCT. Side phone cords? That West Side <laughs> I only fuck with that West Side phone cord shit. Um, seriously crazy ass shit what are you guys are you guys yeah. in the chat tell us are you west side phone cord people or are you east side phone cord people um <laughs> i mean pq river points out that this is total like schizophrenia logic and i have to agree yeah that he heard i could a, see him yeah. m- mumbling this in his yeah. basement to yeah. his own granny witchet who's worried about him yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is like some Casper Hauser shit, you know, like for real. Like you, you Mom, keep your phone cord on the west side, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking amazing. Just brilliant. Brilliant. I love it. All right, sorry there's a siren approaching, but that's kind of appropriate for this moment. Yeah, dude. Right? Let's just yeah. take it in. Mm, okay. I like the arrows. Yeah, the arrows because like <laughs> yeah. Like you, he, pull- yeah. In case you didn't know what a phone cord was. <laughs> <laughs> Strictly West Side phone cord, peoples. Um, so great. Wow. Well, um, I'll, I'll be honest. I feel somewhat lost. Yeah. You know, this is probably my third time. Fourth time. Zam it. God damn it. This is probably the. the get, f- what? <laughs> just get your shit together, dude. I'll wait. This is. Uh, Follow along, dude. This is probably my third or fourth time actually reading this. And I think it, it gets better on repeat readings that you understand that you know there's so many MacGuffins and right turns and misleading things that he gets like he gets he gets you just too you have to keep track of them all and there's so many of them and there's no transitions and you're and there's no there's a narrator but the narrator is not serving the function of a narrator at all he's it's it's right otherwise <laughs> otherwise 2 a.m would have not been said by exactly the character. Character. yeah exactly it's, it's yeah. just yeah it's very stream of conscious uh like he probably sat, he probably drew this in one sitting, perhaps never looking back. Oh. Like, like just like, <laughs> like just one. But he's that good, you know. I don't know. I'm not trying to shortchange him as an artist. I'm just saying, like, maybe he wrote it in one sitting, you know, uh, without reading, yeah. going back to re, uh, read it. But he's a fucking amazing artist, or I mean, at least by our metrics, um, you know. Anyway, all right. This is where the big fucking showdown goes down. Um, a call to get her out of the doctor's office, which you, oh, Jesus Christ, a call to get her out of the doctor's office, which you prearranged for someone to make you so you could leave unnoticed and return to your coffin. Okay. Sorry. Yep. Okay. You wrote the fake death notice so we wouldn't check in on you. I'm, I'll am i take that for face value that 
that is <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Back to the story. I love that note. What yeah. a good note. Iris died during the night. God, I love how just crazy this is. Like, is this for children? No. But it's no. like written, maybe it's written by his son. Or is his it by children? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, you know, like children hive mind writing exercise. Um, okay. Your gun is useless. I stole your cross. Then I'll pull the shade. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Great. Daylight, you lied to me about the time. That's why it says 2 a.m. Yes. Dude, yes. yes. Oh. 2 a.m. Because he knew. He yeah. saw that phone cord on the west side. And he knew <laughs> what he was getting into. Yo, he's that west side phone code logic. Um. And <laughs> foreign, foreign code. Foreign code. Foreign you got code. the foreign. He's foreign to cording. Um, okay. <laughs> foreign, foreign to cording with my mind right now. You nungan. <laughs> you nunlet. You nunlet. <laughs> um, where's all my nun heads at? Boys? Yeah. Where's Come all on. my nun heads at? Dude, get nunned. I'm, I'm, I love getting nunned and, and torch is like this too, guys. If you like this shit, get torch because torch is, is torch crazier than this? Ben? It, the storytelling looks crazier. Uh, or is this crazier? It's really kind of on the same level. I like. I think Torch might be crazier. I think it is. I think it did because it, it it gets more no, into Tor- it, Torch yeah. is crazy. It gets more into his well, Tor- repression. I feel like Torch is oh. crazier because of the male nudity. The male oh. nudity in public deviation. That's like really yeah. puts over the top. Well, plus Torch has religion, and religion is crazy. So yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Torch is crazier. Mm. Torch is crazier, but this is equally as entertaining. Mm. God, what a great a... fucking output this guy has. Like, he's batting two for two for sure. Um, okay, so rah, I've got to get to my coffin. Amazing drawing here of a transformation to the bat. That sells it to me. She's going to yep. the cavern. How could I find her in here? And then the darkness survived me. That's cool. I like that. Wow. Uh, That's a good line. Um, cool. Uh, now you will die. And then, of course, he picks up a giant you know, cheese ball and gets ready to <laughs> <laughs> a cheesy poof and throws it at her. Um, crazy drawing of her. <laughs> there. Um, yeah. It crushed into small rocks. Didn't hurt her. Uh, a vampire has the strength <laughs> of a legion of demons. And then he shoots, the, you know, his amazing potato gun shooter at, at, uh, at her. Only one. It's like his civil war space gun. Yeah. You know, he has like, he's like a <laughs> stick and, and like, uh, gunpowder every time he wants to fire his <laughs> yeah space laser. Yeah, I think that Legion of Demons line is really great. It, it is. Really, it it really is. is. Mm-hmm. Legion of Demons. Wow. Legion of Demons. Wow. That's a series I would buy. That, totally. that title, totally. Ben. Yeah, yeah. Legion of Demons, Ben. Good yeah, awesome. Ben. Come on, Ben. God, <laughs> redraw all this shit, Ben. <laughs> I would love to. Yeah. Um, I have a uh, sorry. A vampire has the strength of a legion of demons. I just had to say it again. <laughs> Um, so cool. Daylight. Oh, because he shot a hole in the cavern. Mm-hmm. With his pea shooter, which is oh. great. Yeah. His gun shot a hole in the cavern roof. And then uh, <laughs> this is great too. Kill him, <laughs> my pets. <laughs> so other bats oh, start damn. flapping out of control here. Uh, they'll keep him from finding my hidden coffin. That's so funny. Mm. Must be one of these giant bats I saw on the streets. I don't know who's thinking that, but somebody is. I've got uh, to get. Uh, I got. I've got to get to it fast, or I'll die. That la- That was the last one shooting all the bats down now. And then this little rat is amazing. Something yeah. scared that rat out of that tunnel. Why would you be thinking that as you're blasting away <laughs> giant bats with your turn of the century gun? <laughs> Oh, wait, wait a minute. What's up with that uh, rat? You know? But then the rat reveals to him, there it is, the coffin. And then, Alex, I saw you at a distance and followed you. Okay, great. Thanks. Convenient. And this then, really feels like a, like an Apple IIe point-and-click video game. Yeah. Like one of those early yeah. like manhole, you know? Oh, where yeah. You're just like, totally. Yeah, totally. King of Chicago. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's just so, like, stunted and weird and you guys ever just played disjointed. It, the Sierra game. Oh, yeah. Like King's Quest. Or- yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Full Quest. Thro- or it wasn't Full Throttle. No, Police. Po- yeah, Police Quest, I think. And they're like, Full police thro- Quest. Yeah, that, it's a Police Quest. Full class. Throttle rules. For yeah, sure, well, that's yeah. the LucasArts. But yeah. Mm-hmm. The, uh, police police Quest. Quest is a great name. It that's really is. <laughs> Dude, that's some IP police someone Quest. should fucking game, turn too. into a fucking show. Police Quest. Oh, man. Oh, seriously. Great. 
police quest it's rules. Awesome. All right, last page. It does rule. It really does rule. I got to go back and play some fucking police quest. Thanks for that. You can just watch it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Idea. All those games are on YouTube, and it's so Ben. It's I did this recently. Just sat and watched all these old mm, games. What a good idea! It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Damn. You don't have to um, do anything. It's great. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Jeff Zach. Miller, who Jeff Miller, who turned us on to Red Bullet. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh yeah. PM Home Video he, on Instagram, everyone. PM Home Video on Instagram. He also did a uh, version of Night Trap that was like he's edited into like a movie version. So you know, really. Viewing, like he, made it, he made it like a linear thing, and, it, and it's brilliant. Like just oh, wow. 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 incredible work. Yeah. Oh, dude, PM Home Video. Shout out to him. We owe him a lot because yeah, um, it's actually very, yeah, very uh, serendipitous that you brought him up because I actually acquired this issue of Torch from him. He actually Great. is oh. the one. Yeah, he actually turned me on to uh torch uh and uh, yeah. on on instagram and and he was kind enough when he sent me some red bullet shit uh and uh and 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 he's he, got jeff he's miller got is his slew. name yeah he's jeff in the miller. he's in the chat he, right now he's watching right now jeff miller oh. dude dude yeah you're the man he's got an amazing collection of of power comics i mean the stuff yeah jeff he sent you I, jeff yeah you gotta me. jeff you gotta me, jeff we gotta we gotta we gotta we scan gotta, that shit bro yeah we gotta, we gotta he's got some incredible stuff totally and so we have to make him a we have to make him like a little like a burger king crown type thing and send it to him we should comments written on it we should mm -hmm. yeah jeff man you 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 connected us to red bullet you sent us an extra yeah, that's me. that you had um yeah just fucking great thank you so much that's awesome. how, do, how do we know it's the real jeff miller though because he has two tiny Prove holes it, in dude. His, okay. <laughs> oh he's got two tiny holes dude <laughs> All right, let's fucking wrap this up. Um, all right. I'm sorry, Alex. I finally figured it out. I have to drive a stake in her heart. And now it's actually kind of amazing <laughs> that he has to drive a stake into the heart of the person that he fell for. I kind of love that. Yeah. Um, I mean, but why? He, he had a ch chubby for her for one night, and she's clearly a fucking vampire, and he's... Yeah, but, you know... He's, haven't you ever loved about killing <laughs> Are you is that what love? having a chubby is? <laughs> but I think it's uh I think it's uh just that Those it's were all... my vows on my wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> my first chubby. <laughs> I think and that... now I'm your hubby. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I think that he's all kind of bringing it and tying it all back together is, you know, yeah, it's, it's I cool. Know. It's, 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 it's self contained. Good. It's a self contained little one shot here. Um, and one thing I want to say is I love Bob's uh, signature shiny, shiny helmet rendering His like weird I know. helmet glean is so good. If you go back through, it's the same sort of weird undulating <laughs> form on the helmet. That's really perfect. It's I love it. Perfect. And his signature, by the way, everyone. Look at that signature. Oh. Whoa. Stars. Amazing. He's got stars in and his a little signature. planet. That's also the... his DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Um, all right. I can't do it. Then let me. Yeah, I'll do it. Give it to me. And then Vixina is like, no fucking way. Uh, I'll do it. And then she takes the cheese puff and smacks it into the steak. And, um, <laughs> cheese puff. And that's it. She was <laughs> <laughs> she was my sister. I protected her. So, oh, they're sisters. This is the first time we've figured that one out. She was my sister, yeah. but I protected her, but she had to be stopped. Okay. Oh, and then, so good. And then we have a bubble within a bubble. If it wasn't more confusing than it needed to be. I'll never forget her, Zan. And then let the dead bury the dead, Alex. And let the memory of Drasilis also be buried. And with that... <laughs> Bob Nunn took his own life. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Bob but, Nunn went on a shooting spree. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah uh, but just like fucking great. And then this is awesome too because you know he's uh, he's wanting to spread the word, which I love. Readers, if you like the new Earthman comic book, then please write to a local newspaper and ask them to put it in that paper. That's so weird. Wait, I mean, guys. You can't... We no. all have to do that. Yeah, we all everyone, have to write, to write into your every paper. Every newspaper in the country. Into those that papers that you read, please. What were you going to say, Zach? But like, he's asking to put a full-size comic book in a newspaper, not like a strip. That is a, yeah. that is a big ask. Yeah, yeah it is a big yeah. ask. It's like the Unabomber couldn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and that's, Yeah, and then... Uh, 
This is so crazy. Yeah. Uh, and ask them to put it in that paper. Ask them to write to American International Newspaper Syndicate. And then gives <laughs> and then gives a fucking address. And then so thanks. So schizophrenic. Yeah. Oh, Bob. I love you so much, Bob. I'm sorry I've said bad things about you, but I, I honestly think that he's... What have you ever said that's bad about Bob? I don't think you've ever what about Bob? said any um, word against him. I just love it. I just it's love all me. It. It's all we're having fun, but it's all it is all you. But I, I fucking love this comic. I love you, Bob. And I love that the, the back of this is just this beautiful color. Uh, Big Daddy yeah. Perp. Sample. Love it. You know, it's Grimace. Just, it's just it's Grimace it's, color. Yeah, it is. It is. And it just it's so great. Oh, it's so great. Yeah. It's the best guys. Earth Man. Oh, Bob. Um, it's dizzying. It is yeah. so bizarre. I know. It's, I feel like I've read War and I, Peace and just like finished it. <laughs> oh. The Hall of well, Famer. It is a Hall of Famer. Yeah, Famer. truly. Mm-hmm. Like when you really talk I give about... give it an A plus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was Iris all along. Oh. Who who called it from the beginning? Not me. When I first read it. Yeah, didn't think. I, I thought think, it was Vixena all the way. I, I don't think Bob Nunn knew who it was. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he made, Yeah, exactly. He... Yeah. He was right, you know, figuring out as he went along. I thought it was yeah. Granny Witchet for sure. Yeah, I think it's just, it's just, it's awesome. This is such an amazing comic. I think also, I think uh, there might be some other copies out there you can find still if you search on the. Uh, the yeah, old, there's uh, some out there. On the but old... you better buy them quick, or Evan's going to buy them before I, you. I'm going to get yeah. them all. You know, um, yeah. we probably have like ten between us. For some reason, I have like four of these. Do you? And I'll never. I think I have three or four. Of them. Oh my! When God. I read it, I was like, I need to own. There's so, there's a there's a handful of power comics that when I read them, I said I need to buy up all of these and burn every one except for one. <laughs> so have the only issue. Oh my God! Of this priceless piece of art. Wow, power comics uh, finance uh, theory. Um, yeah, dude. But uh, just amazing. I mean, yeah, just just one of the best. So so happy it exists and that it's part of the power power canon. Definitely Hall of Fame worthy, something we need to, you know, once we do, uh, like, for real, like, start talking about the, the Hall of Fame, this is definitely uh, up there, for sure. Um, for sure. So, any, any other final thoughts on on, uh, on, on Earthman or anything, or, or life, or Bob Nunn theories? Any other Bob Nunn theories? Is, is there anything inside where they talk about Andromeda? No. Mm. No. Oh. no. No. This is the only reference to it. Fools, no thing okay. can stop an Andromedian vampire. Andromedian? And Andromedian? I don't know. Andromedian, Andromedian yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. The, the comic book shop when I was a kid where I started buying power comics in 1986 when they were new on the rack, full price, was called Andromeda Bookshop. Whoa. So Earthman, from there. Uh, Earthman touches dude. into that. Um, Bro. Yeah, so just fucking great, guys. I, I, I just, I'm, 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 I'm real high on fucking Earthman. I think it's, I think it's one of the best. Um, and Torch. Guys, Torch. I almost feel like Torch... Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. This body of I work. mean... Look how well... Go back. <sighs> the body of work is two Earthmen sandwiching and Torch. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, go back and watch the Torch video. Torch is incredible. That video is amazing. It's... <sighs> Bob, Bob is the best. It's... He's a real... He's, he's the, like, one of the heroes of the Power Comic. Yeah, Pantheon yeah. here. He's incredible. Read, read the book for yourself too. It's yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, totally for sure. Bonkers. Yeah, let me just throw um, up in case anyone does not throw up. I mean, no, I could. Let me just throw um, up. Just throw up real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up the uh, patreoncom slash Uh Check it out, guys. If you haven't uh, become a patron, all the really rare issues that we've found, the ones that you know are made by people that we can't find on Earth. Uh, who have who have left this planet? Uh, you can find mm-hmm. you can find uh, those those issues up on the Patreon, just so we can all enjoy them and fucking you know get get nunned get nunned. Um, but uh, thanks everybody. And anything else, or should we should we call it? Uh, I mean, I gotta go hit some some holes in my neck, so <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, what up, Early Bird Comics? Glad you could join us. Early Bird Comics has got selling some power comics. If you guys are looking for some oh, power yeah, comics, dude. hit those dudes Get up. Get your collection started. If you want a dope ass power comic collection, hit them up on eBay. He's they got, got a some starter deck. Stuff. He's got a starter deck of yes, uh, power comics. Exactly. Really? Yeah, he does. Yes. Is that true? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, it's, under, and it's, it's, it's legit. Printed, 
Yeah. Is credit as Power Comics starter? Yeah. I think yes. it's a, wow. on I think it's on eBay. You can get it as a Power Comics like starter pack on, on eBay. Mm-hmm. So if you want to The universe is changing. It is. I know. It is. It is. It really is. <laughs> it really is. So uh thank you guys all for uh joining us. I hope the stream was not as jumpy and jittery as it probably is, but <laughs> uh it's a work in progress. I think it's Mac. I think it's my OS Mac fucking shit and I gotta get Honestly, it, it I'm sure it added to the chaos of Bob Nunn's vision here to have it. <laughs> no jump surprises. Around. Tofo surprises, man. I was gonna have a wicked surprise for you guys today. Well, I think this is a surprise. Hold on. Yeah, make yeah. it up. This the is, Dreamweaver shirts count. This is a surprise. Is this not a yeah, surprise? Yeah, it's great. I got this as a surprise. Um, but <laughs> at, at Evan is Bob Nunn. <laughs> That's a surprise. <laughs> um, no, I. Uh, uh, well, maybe I'll just vent here. Why not? We're we're all here. Uh, I was I, I had booked a really great interview for tomorrow. Um, uh, actually, do, do, can I get, get the ish real quick? Just just two seconds. Hold on. Yeah. Talk to these people. Get that ish, dude. Get the ish. So, what are examples of things that that might be in like the early bird comics power comics startup di- pack? Like, uh, there was some. Uh, I think it's Silver like Ar- Archie three hundred through. <laughs> no. Five <laughs> versus Punisher. Well, um, here's my here's my maybe uh, uh, Stormbringer might be in there. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, that's a great no, one. There, there's some goodies. There's some goodies in there. There's some yeah, goodies sure. in there Definitely for sure. Yeah. Um. Okay, guys. Cross swords. Um. I'm a huge fan oh, of this the comic. Best. It's one of the best comic. fantasy comics of all time. The art is incredible. It's just like it's it's super super good. And uh, uh, I don't know, things might change. Uh, but I had booked a a amazing colossal interview with not just one of the creators of Cross Swords, but two. I had the Cross Swords uh, writer and the Cross Swords artist lined up to do a, a commentary book club, whatever, with us. Um, and, uh, I think, uh, one of the, I think the, the, the writer got some cold feet. Uh, so unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to go down. Maybe it's not something will change, but if it does, if it does get scrapped entirely, I think we should look at cross swords on our own and maybe the oh, enthusiasm man. of everything we're going to bring to cross swords might change their mind, right. uh, in terms of wanting to share the behind the scenes stories of, of cross swords. Cause it's really amazing. Not only because the art is amazing, but guys, it comes with its own D and D dungeon. Yeah. It's, it's full yeah. on D and D ready to play. It's, and that, that splash page. I mean, these, it's so good. Everything about it. I love everything about it. Dude. It's amazing. It's, ever been a, faith, it's yeah, really yeah. faithful to, uh, like the experience of playing D and D too. It's it so really funny is. and really fun is. and weird and exciting. It's a great comic. It really is. So, has there ever been a better top banner on any comic than that? Like on the front page? No. Free eight on, page on cover? Yeah. 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 It's so good. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> cover too. So if if we don't get the writer and maybe we just do it with the artist, we could do it with the artist um, mm-hmm. as well, of course. But. Um, but he was really keen on trying to act. It's actually was going to be great because he wanted to reconnect with the writer who he hasn't talked to in a very long time. So I thought it was going to oh, be damn. a very special emotional journey that we were going to go on together. But uh, it doesn't seem like it. But who knows? Never say never here at Power Comics. And I mean, shit, we never would have thought we would have had uh, fucking uh, like two extra, two to three extra John Tar uh, issues that we've been gifted right. through uh, this experience. So you never know. Mm-hmm. You never know what might uh, happen. But Cross Swords, absolutely amazing. And uh, if 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 plans go to hell, we'll we'll uh, back it up with just covering it ourselves because it's it's a great Hall of Fame worthy Power Comic ish. So, all right, guys. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time to sign off. Thanks for joining us um, as everything, and we will see you again next week. I don't know what our next uh, book club live is going to be, but we should think about something and uh, start getting the word out. We should have planned that maybe. I forgot, but we will uh, We will hype it up for next week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get something good, something good. Um, okay. But all right, guys. Thank you. Take care. And Telephone we- receivers on the west side. Oh, on the west side. What's up? West side the phone west side receivers, west side. Bro. Okay. I can't really do that. Okay, we'll see you uh, <laughs> later. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Power.